keep, but I'm gonna try a couple of, of re, uh, reviews myself since Kevin's been doing most of them. But so, tell us where we are at before we do a thing. We're at Dreamland here in Huntsville. I just told Kevin, I'm not a big fan of this barbecue sauce myself. It's a little too vinegary for me, a little strong. Um, it masks the taste of the meat overall. I prefer this with just the meat. So I think, I mean, I, I actually like the sauce quite a bit because I, I like that it's it's vinegary, it's um, it's it's served warm, which is always a good thing. And uh, But you're right, it, it does mask uh, really the nice quality of the meat. I really like the sausage here. Like, have you tried one by itself? Yeah, I have. I like, I like the sausage just plain. Just as a sausage, it's got a nice kick. There's a good aftertaste to it uh, that lingers for quite a while. Um, beautiful texture. Uh, the color is beautiful. Nice and smoky, right? Too. It's wonderful. I'm try the ribs here. I haven't tried one yet, so it's gonna be my first taste of it. What I like about these ribs is that it's it's a lot uh, denser. It doesn't come off the bone uh, like at the other places that yeah. we have. There's a good tub required here, which I like. You really have to give it a pull to get the meat off. Um, I think the sauce is. Uh, is mixing better with this than it was with uh, what I just had before. The sausage. The sausage. Uh, but these ribs are these ribs are good. Finally, we have the banana pudding, which is, I guess, something they're famous for. So take a bite, Keith. Yeah, I've had a couple of bites of this. Um, it's really nice and cooling after the you know the hot spices and the barbecue sauce and the sausage that I've had. So sweet, too sweet, just right. Not too sweet at all. As I said, it's just kind of cooling my palate down. And it's it's very very tasty. Well, um, what, what's in there besides the uh, the bananas? There appears to be some bread in here and some pudding and some cream. Uh, yeah. Give me a, a number between one and ten. Ten being excellent, one being terrible. This is about a seven and a half. Excellent. Keith Claxon, food critic, seven and a half.